news. <laughs> You're kidding, aren't you? It, it's catastrophic. I don't understand. Why wouldn't you want to renew the contract? Nipper Snapper must be such a profitable line for you guys. Yeah, well, if I'm honest, you've sort of become a victim of your own success. Oh, really? You turn us over his our fault, is it? Right. No, Stephen's right. The range is selling well. People love it. Which is why Owen suggested that, you know, we develop our own line. Uh, Cut out the middleman, so to speak. Of course he did. But you're business people. You know, it makes sense. Anyway, I just wanted you to hear it from me, in person. And good luck. It's a looking nightmare. Those patents are safe, aren't they? Yeah. What did Angelique want? Yeah, I told her that the new designs won't be ready for a few weeks. Maybe put a hold on those for the time being. Why? What's happened? They've pulled out. Won't be renewing the contract. <gasps> We've put so much into this brand. This can't be the end. Just put some figures together and get back to you. Oh, great. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Angelique. Yeah. Bye. What did Angelique say? Don't tell me. It was just all a ploy to get our prices down further. Not really. Oh, she realized that Nipper Snap is the best brand she'll ever stock. Well, I, I think they do realize that now, which is why they like my idea. What idea? We've not discussed any ideas. Uh, yeah, I know, but I, I didn't want to get anybody's hopes up before sounding her out. Well? Well, I, I persuaded them that it would take months and months and a lot of cash to develop their own line, to put marketing in place and get it into shops, whereas, well, we've already done all the hard work, so they could just buy Nipper Snapper. You're not serious. But it's our brand. We've worked so hard. Just hear me out. It's it's a brilliant brand. Really brilliant. And you guys have done an amazing job developing it, but it can only be a success if we can find a, a company to stock it and to get it into the big world markets. Bet she nearly bit your hand off. Well, she's a smart businesswoman and wanted to see what figure it would take to, to close a deal. If we can't find a like-for-like like deal to replace Owen and Angelique's, then all the work uh, will have been for nothing. I hate to say it, but... What Stephen says makes sense. What do you think, guys? Should we try and come up with a figure or what? With respect, I think I should lead the Nipper Snapper sale. I'm the most experienced person in the room, and undoubtedly, uh, I'll get the best deal. Carl is experienced too. No, no, no. He's the best person for the job. Plus, it's in your best interest to get us all a good deal, because FYI, gentlemen, I'm going to be giving you two fellas and Sarah a cut of the proceeds of the sale, so. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, you are spoiling us. I certainly am. I mean, on paper, I owe you absolutely nada. But since decency is my middle name. Oh, Angelique is such a glamorous name. Well, she's one very sophisticated lady. Wish I'd be called Angelique. Angelique Bradley. Actually, it kind of spoils it, doesn't it? The Bradley bit. You know, I, I don't often blow my own trumpet, but... Well, you've got no need, have you? Your reputation blows it for you, and it hits a top C. Well, that uh, that sale is is in the bag. Jenny, uh, what on earth is the matter? Today is um. Today is my last day as owner of the Rovers. Oh, oh no! Tomorrow I meet with the brewery to sign the paperwork. Oh, Jenny. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. Hey, would you like me to come with you? Strength in numbers? Oh, Stephen. What would I do without you? Oh, uh, no. Sorry about this. Who could possibly be more important than me? Sarah wants to see me immediately. Well, you're a popular guy. Oh, listen, uh, apologies a thousand times. No, it's fine. You're giving. I get it. I do. Do I spoke to you today? Uh, Ethel read the Unready? The Equity Release Firm. What are you talking about? I, I never... Oh, Stephen, don't lie. Uh, you think I was stooped that low uh, with my own family? <laughs> I spoke to Gabrielle, too. She claims you have no loyalty to your family whatsoever. Gonna say something? Defend yourself, even? 
stealing uh, from my mother. Uh, uh, what I did is, is indefensible. I was going to go straight to Gran, but I don't know. I just I wanted you to be able to explain yourself first. Well, good. Because uh, I, I, I can't explain. Okay. I'm waiting. So I know, I know it was an awful mistake, but I was desperate. I was always going to pay her back. You, you have to believe that. Look, it's going to be tough, but it's time that you come clean to Gran. Please, Sarah, don't tell her. It'll kill her. Uh, look what she did last year. It'll, it'll tip her over the edge. Like, if you tell her, she will dot me into the police like she did with Nick and David. So? Well, I can hardly pay her back if I'm in prison, can I? And I will pay it back. Every penny. But I, I just... All I need is time. I, I need to get the Angelique deal over the line. And, and, and reparations can be made. Sarah! Please. I am begging you. Hey, my lady, sweet cheeks. <clears throat> I'm only messing. He's paid. It was a joke. Hilarious. Well, consider me an angel, for I come bearing tidings of great, great joy. Why? Well, Angelique's agreed to buy Nipper Snapper. It's a good deal. And after tax, I reckon we'd all walk away with about uh, 70K. 70 k Stephen, you're the greatest human being ever. What? I'm not worthy. Sorry, I just need to have a quick chat with Grant. Gran. Oh, sweetheart. Sorry I haven't spoken with you. We're still playing fantasy dinner parties over there. And I want to pout a bit. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Oh, you know, the letter. Oh. It was a scam. I gave him a ring and it was just a dodgy call centre on the other side of the world. So I don't want you worrying about it, okay? Oh, thank you. No, I won't. Good. Is that all? Yeah. Can I have a word with you, please, Stephen, in private? Oh, uh, sure. What did you say to her? I'll keep quiet. Oh. Well, thank God for that. No, oh, thanks, Sarah, for that. But you pay her back every penny you took. I will. I promise. Thank you. I'm not doing this to save your skin. I am doing this for Gran. It would kill her if she knew. I know. I feel so bad. Oh, once more with feeling, Stephen. Sorry? Oh, you heard. I mean it. Look, you've shown me your true colours now. I will never believe another word you say. Ever. 